Hey everyone, welcome back to Over a Pipe. My name is Martin and today we have a tobacco review. But before we get into this review, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation for those men and women who have fought and died for our freedoms in this great country. Thank you for your sacrifices and our thoughts and prayers are always with you and your families. Now let's get back into it. A quick plug just for the channel, if you've always wanted an opportunity to try some of these rare esoterica blends like Penzance or Stonehaven, then do me a favor and go ahead and like, share, and subscribe this channel and click that little notification bell down below. It's going to alert you when I start a tobacco drop live stream, which is my method of relaying these events to the community. This is a passion of mine to do the legwork for everyone in the community and prevent anyone from paying those high eBay prices. Mm. Now let's get into this review of Missouri Mersham's American Patriot. America. America. <laughs> so just from TobaccoReviews.com, American Patriot is a highly unusual type of blend to find in a pouch. It's a Latakia based blend enhanced by quality Virginia leaf and the exotic influence of Turkish Smyrna with just a touch of burley for excellent burning characteristics. A light top note of Kentucky bourbon makes for a nice addition to the aroma, but is undetectable in the flavor. For a superb value in an English style blend, light up a bowl of American Patriot. I am indeed a fan, but I'm going to call it an American blend because it says American Patriot, so whatever. Mmm, so good. Let's start off with some existing reviews from TobaccoReviews.com. We're fortunate to have an older perspective by Steel Cowboy in 2014. I have smoked Russ Ullett's other very good OTC style blends like Angler's Dream and Old Tartan, but I think that American Patriot is the first of the MMC blends I have tried and is the best I have smoked thus far. American Patriot is an American English style light aromatic. The Smyrna for me is what makes this lightly sweet smoky blend. The proportion of Lotta Key is perfect and the touch of Burley adds just a slight nutty background flavor. I have spent the afternoon smoking American Patriot out of both a cob, of course, and a briar. I prefer the cob, but either way, you can't go wrong. It comes pipe ready with no need to dry it and burns with no bite. I could just barely get a hint of the bourbon scent and little to no taste of it in the pipe. American Patriot could be enjoyed by aromatic and non-aromatic smokers alike. American Patriot could be one of those set it and forget it type all-day blends for some folks. I would rate American Patriot based on how it stands up to some of the other pouch over-the-counter blends. And this blend offers a lot of bang for the buck. American Patriot is at price point similar to other over-the-counter blends, but in terms of flavor and complexity compared to the other blends, and the fact that this, is, this offers little or no of the whatever, PG, like other OTCs, American Patriot is easy, hands down, the winner. Nice. I can see that. Now, our most recent opinion comes from the GC Doc in 2019. I'm a newbie to English blends, so most of what to expect from the Lottie Key and other Orientals is based off of others' reviews. The pouch note, it's great. And at first, surprising, as I was hit in the face with a mixture of a spicy incense-like aroma from the Orientals, but also noted a lingering of wood smoke coming from the Latakia. It packs and lights well with an initial hit from the Orientals, which are up front for the majority of the bowl. There are moments when the smokiness is brought forward, but pretty faint and infrequent. It burns well and slow without bite. I don't taste the topping of bourbon and little to no citrus from the Virginias. I'll be honest, as I was initially put off by the incense quality of the smoke, but now, having a few bowls, I find something about the medicinal bitter note that produces a salivating response. 
The other thing I could compare the sense of the, the sensation to would be from a really hoppy IPA or an inter Indian pale ale, creating a hunger-like response. creating a hunger-like response, an aperitif effect, maybe. I mean, that's a lot of big words for pouched tobacco. <laughs> but how could we forget the enlightening conclusion of Cobb Man? I get in the mood for Latakia once in a while, but it's not something I like to smoke all the time, or not even very often. To me, Latakia is like Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. No matter how you dress him up or down, any place he goes, he will be noticed. Latakia has always been a bit too much in your face for me. But I was determined to have an open mind to do a fair evaluation of this blend. So I took a big swig of tea, a deep breath, and opened the pouch. As I expected, I was immediately hit with the smoky blast of Latakia, but not really as bad as I thought it would be. I could actually smell some other components, like a little sweet Virginia, something a bit of the spicy side, and some sort of Swedish liquor, maybe bourbon. I took a few deep sniffs to get the full effect, and I was surprised. This may not be as bad as I thought. It was certainly complex and not really unpleasant. Like the other blends, it appeared to be rubbed flake, or I just don't know what all the different cuts are, to be honest. It packed and lit well. After the first few puffs, I got to thinking it really isn't so bad. It actually tastes like a slightly milder version of Seattle Pipe Club's Mississippi River blend. I found myself actually starting to like it. The flavor and aroma was smoky, of course, but not too bad. It reminded me of my smoker when it just starts to settle down to nice coals and smoke wood. The room note was a little smoky, but not unpleasantly so. Around the middle of the bowl, the whiskey flavor moved a bit more to the front, making an interesting change. There was also a little more spiciness, sort of like the cedar trees after a light morning rain. This continued all the way to the bottom of the bowl. There was never any bite, and it smoked nice and cool. This is a good medium smoke and would be great for beginners wanting to try a lot of Kia blend so they could ease into it. Fans of Mississippi River will love this blend. It will never be my favorite, but I plan to keep some around for the occasional lot of Kia experience. Of all the Latakia blends I have smoked, this one is the best to my taste by far. I actually enjoyed it. Well, these, re these reviews are very informative. Let's see if we get the same impressions. The brand is Missouri Meerschaum. Again, this is American Patriot. It's blended by Russ Allett, and it's manufactured by Lane Limited. The blend type, they're considering English, though I'm going to call it an American blend. Mm. And the contents are Black Cavendish, Burley, Latakia, Oriental Turkish, and Virginia's. It does have a flavoring of bourbon, which I agree you can absolutely smell in the tin note, but backs off once you light it up. The cut is ribbon, but it's got a little bit of a mixture in there with uh, some rubbed out pieces, some chunky pieces. Uh, very reminiscent of Frogmorton Cellar. As you can see, the packaging comes in a one and a half ounce pouch. And the tin note on this is very reminiscent of Frogmorton Cellar. It's just got a light amount of Latakia. I'd say maybe just a hint more than Frogmorton Cellar. You can smell some of the sweetness and you can get a hint and whiff of that bourbon. The pre-light is very nice and sweet, very tasty. Some slight sourness in there, which is really, really good. 
I'd say the strength of this blend is probably mild to medium. The taste is also pretty mild. Mm -hmm. And with that top note of bourbon, it just kind of sets it off in the right way. I'd say the room note is tolerable. Uh, and it's got a bunch of good qualities that are not going to be off-putting. Hmm. Well, I want to thank all of you for stopping by and enjoying this blend with me. It's It's been a great ride through July. It's kind of funny we were talking about Dwayne Johnson because I consider this the people's channel, and I'm so happy for all of your support. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell down there. This is Martin from Over a Pipe, leaving you with some final words. Go out there and grab you a pouch of Missouri Meerschaums American Patriot. Stick it in your pipe. Woo. And smoke it. And be thankful for all those freedoms that you have. Y'all have a good night.